Whether you're a new podcaster or already have a podcast, I'm going to show you how to add or update your podcast cover art in the three places it needs to be. Welcome to the Audacity to Podcast, an award-winning how-to podcast about podcasting and using Audacity. Hi, I'm Daniel J. Lewis from theaudacitytopodcast.com. If you already have a podcast in iTunes, then you've probably received the email from Apple on or around March 6th telling you about their new podcast cover art requirements. Now, I put both of those in air quotes because they're not really new and they're not really requirements. They're not new because Apple has been telling us to make our podcast cover art at 1400 by 1400 since May of 2012. The reason for this is in the podcast app loaded on a Retina iPad, such as the iPad 3 or the iPad 4, the podcast cover art displays at 1400 by 1400 pixels, even though the display is actually 1536 by 2048. This image of the podcast cover art inside the iOS podcast app is being displayed at 1400 by 1400. Oddly, this isn't the largest your podcast cover art will display on a Retina iPad, because if I turn off my iPad and turn it back on, this image that you now see on the lock screen is displaying at 1536 by 1536. But as soon as I unlock my iPad and go back to the podcast app, it's displaying at 1400 by 1400. That's why they require the image to be 1400 by 1400. It also looks great on high definition screens, Apple TV, future television stuff that might be coming out. So make sure you have your podcast cover at 1400 by 1400. But then that's not really a requirement as they said. Well, it is actually exactly as they said, it's just easily misunderstood. See, they require that your podcast cover art be 1400 by 1400 if you want to be eligible to be featured by Apple in some kind of featured category, such as a top 10, a staff picks, a favorites list, new and noteworthy, what's hot, anything like that, they will only consider you if you have your podcast cover art at 1400 by 1400. So if your podcast cover art is not 1400 by 1400 pixels, you're not going to get kicked out of iTunes. They're not going to reject your new podcast that you submit to iTunes. You just won't be eligible to be featured by iTunes. So it's not new and it's technically not a requirement unless you want to be featured, which all of us do. So you should treat it as a requirement. Now, when you are either starting a new podcast or updating the podcast you currently have with podcast cover art, you need to make sure you put your podcast cover art in three places for audio podcasts. The first place is a 144 by 144 pixel image in your RSS2 image tag that's inside your RSS feed. This is what older feed readers will use and some podcast apps will use to look for your cover art for your podcast. It only needs to be 144 by 144 pixels. So hint, make sure your podcast cover art looks good at that small size. The second place your podcast cover art needs to be is in your iTunes image tag. This is what iTunes and actually many other podcast apps will look to for your podcast cover art. So make sure that you have your 1400 by 1400 image in your iTunes image tag. The third place is inside of your MP3 files for an audio podcast. Now we do this by putting them in the ID3 tags for each of those MP3 files. And this needs to be at least a 600 by 600 image, but I'd still recommend a 1400 by 1400 image if you can keep that below 200 kilobytes for that image file alone, because ID3 tags are somewhat limited in how big they can be. I'm going to show you how to put your cover art in these three important places, depending on what kind of hosting environment and podcasting setup you have. So if you have a podcast website powered by WordPress with the PowerPress plugin, and that's where your podcast feed is coming from, is from the PowerPress settings, which is the way I highly recommend doing it, then the place you need to go to add your RSS2 image tag is go into your WordPress dashboard, go to the PowerPress settings, and go to the feeds tab. If you're working with custom podcast channels or podcasting categories, then 
there will be a similar feed settings tab for each of those channels and categories. But scroll down to the RSS2 image field. This is where you can paste a URL to your podcast cover art that's sized at 144 by 144 pixels. Or if you place a check mark on upload new image, you can choose a file from your computer to upload as your 144 by 144 image for your RSS2 tag. If you're using FeedBurner to power your podcast RSS feed, which I don't recommend, it's outdated, it doesn't take advantage of the new podcasting standards and such, but if you're using FeedBurner, then the way that you can add your RSS2 image to here is go to the Optimize tab and choose Feed Image Burner. Then change the image source to specify custom URL, and you need to have already uploaded your new cover art at 1400 by 1400 as well as 144 by 144 to somewhere and then paste that link into here. Then for the image title, just title it the name of your podcast and the link would be the web address for your podcast. Click activate if you don't already have the service set up or click save if you already have it and you just want to update it. If you use Libsyn to host your podcast files and your RSS feed, then log into Libsyn and go to the gears icon to edit this show's settings. Then in the lower right portion of this window, click the upload button to upload a new podcast cover art to your site. Now the way Libsyn works is they will use the same cover art for both your RSS2 and your iTunes image tags. So this cover art needs to be 1400 by 1400 if you're using Libsyn to power your RSS feed and then just click save and you're done. The other place that you need to go for putting in your podcast cover art is in your iTunes image. This is your 1400 by 1400 image. The way that you get to this through PowerPress on your WordPress site is go to the PowerPress settings and click on the iTunes tab. And if you have the custom podcast channels or category podcasting enabled, then you would go to the iTunes settings tabs for each of those channels or categories that you want to change. Scroll down to the iTunes image field, and this is where, again, you can paste the URL to an image you've already uploaded somewhere on your website or on a different website, or you can upload your new image right here from the interface by checkmarking Upload New Image, and then click on the Choose File button and find the file that you want to upload as your new podcast cover art, and then just make sure that you save your changes. If you're using FeedBurner, to power your podcast feed, which again, I don't recommend. I especially don't recommend using SmartCast feature. I default to the PowerPress settings. But if you're using SmartCast, such as a situation where you have to use it, then go to Optimize tab and then the SmartCast option and then paste your URL to your 1400 by 1400 podcast cover image into this podcast image location feature then just either activate these settings, or if you don't have these settings activated, then you probably need to change this option somewhere else. But save the settings if you already have them activated. If you're using Libsyn to host your media and your podcast RSS feed, just like I said earlier, you only have to upload an image once and it will be both your RSS2 image and your iTunes image. And that image needs to be 1400 by 1400. Now, something important to consider with both of these images, your RSS2 image and your iTunes image, if you're updating your image, then make sure that the full URL, the full download web address to that image is different somehow. This could be just add a two to your file name or some extra number to your file name or a date somewhere. Because if it's the same as the old version, then iTunes and other apps won't recognize that it's a new podcast cover art, so they'll just continue using the old one that they've already cached. But make sure that web address is just slightly different, even if a letter is different or a number or something. That way, the new system will recognize this is a new file and then update your feed accordingly. Now to add your podcast cover art to your MP3 files for an audio podcast, there are a couple tools that you can use for this. If you're on Windows or OS X, you can use iTunes, which is completely free, 
And it does a pretty good job. It's not the most compatible, like it won't always work on Zoom devices or Windows Media Player. But the way that you would use this is drag your audio file into iTunes, then right click on the file and choose Get Info. And it's the same option for if you have Windows. Go to the Artwork tab and either click the Add button to find your podcast cover art, or you can just drag your podcast cover art into this big empty section. Then click OK, and it's added your podcast cover art. We can even change our views here and see that the podcast cover art is now on this individual file. This is very important to be on the individual file itself. Another program I really like that is designed specifically for creating ID3 tags in podcast files is the ID3 editor from PA Software. I'll have links to this below this video and at the website, theaudacitypodcast.com slash 117. But ID3 Editor is a $15 program that works on Windows and OS X, and it's designed specifically for adding ID3 tags to multiple file types. When you open your MP3 file in this program, click the Pictures button in the lower right, and again, you can either drag your image onto the giant space that says drag your image here or click the add button and find the image that you want to add as your 1400 by 1400 podcast cover art to this. Then click the update button and your podcast now has the new cover art on that individual file. If you're on Windows, then I recommend a free program called MP3 Tag and you can download this from mp3tag.de. I have links below this video. This is a free program for Windows that allows you to edit your ID3 tags and it's designed just for that. So open your MP3 file in this and you can right click on this empty space where the, with the CD icon and choose add cover or you can drag your podcast cover art image right onto that space and then it adds it right there. Make sure that you click the save button before you leave the program and then as you saw it updated my icon over here on the left with the new podcast cover art that will display in Windows Media Player and Zoom and other devices. So that's how you add the podcast cover art to those three important places for you. That's a 144 by 144 image in your RSS2 image tag in your RSS feed, a 1400 by 1400 image in your iTunes image tag in your image in your RSS in your podcast feed. And that's a at least a 600 by 600, but preferably a 1400 by 1400 under 200 kilobyte image file in your ID3 tags for your MP3 files. Put your podcast cover art in those three locations and you'll be sure that your podcast cover art displays everywhere that your podcast is. Now in Apple's email, they also inf sent information about requirements of HTTP head requests and byte range requests and all of this extra technical information. If you want more information about that, then go listen to my audio edition of the Audacity to Podcast over at theaudacitytopodcast.com slash 117. There, you'll learn the in-depth information about why these requirements are like this, what they do, how to test for them, and how to find out, contacting your web host or other company to find out, do they support this requirement that Apple has? You can find out more about that over at theaudacitytopodcast.com slash 117. And you can also learn more about Audacity, about podcasting, about my Audacity webinars and podcasting workshops that I teach, and get so much more information about how to podcast by subscribing to my podcast and popular podcast apps, or go to the website at theaudacitytopodcast.com. You can follow me on Twitter at the Ramen Noodle. And now that I've given you some of the guts and taught you some of the tools, it's time for you to go podcast with passion, organization, and dialogue. I'm Daniel J. Lewis. Thank you for watching.